right, today's daily rehab is about correcting your knee alignment in a squat. Now this is especially good for people's people whose knees roll in a little bit when they squat and we're going to look at a deadlift as well and we're going to look at a stretch to help improve your range and your hip into external rotation. So first up is the squat. Now what you need is perhaps some kettlebells so you can do a front squat and you'll need a band like this like a power band. Now I've got a medium one because I want quite a decent amount of resistance pulling my knee and I'll show you what I mean. So this one is going to go on obviously the leg that you want to fix the control of. So when people are having problems, it's their, you know, their knee rolling in. Now it might just be internal rotation or a bit of valgus, it might be hip collapse. But this is designed to help you correct your pattern of movement in a squat with some resistance so you actually get some strengthening work done at the same time. Not just, oh, put your knee out. It's actually teaching your brain internally what to do. Because if you're just looking in a mirror and correcting your knee only, and just looking at that without resistance, you don't feel what that leg is doing, and you don't get that resistance and that stimulation of about up in the hip to try and improve that control. So what I mean is, if I've got some kettlebells, now just start light so you can get your technique right. Try and keep that nice wide squat, and that knee there is the one you're going to focus on. So I have to constantly pull that out, okay? So I'm constantly trying to do this. Now, when I go down into a squat, that band is wanting to pull my knee in, okay, so I've got to fight that. So as I go through a squat, I want to step back a little bit so my right leg clears the band. So if I'm back here a little bit, so that band's on a slight bit of an angle, I'm going to work on trying to control that knee and come up again. Now, don't try and compensate and step over, so you've still got to stay very even in between, and it's a good idea to have a mirror in front of you but just keep that knee controlled outwards. And you're not going to feel it probably till the next day, but that's going to make my left hip, my left glute system, work a lot harder and teach myself to control. So I've got a visual, got a mirror in front of me. I can look at my knee in the mirror. I can look it down, make sure my shins are vertical. And I'm also getting that internal feeling of how to correct that knee using the resistance. So I've got a feedback mechanism going up to tell me what to do and also I get the strength because of the resistance so that's a really really good one for you to do but it's sort of an advanced thing so make sure that you're working on actual strength with clams and bridges and you know using bands and other methods to do the glute work and then when you want to correct the pattern and move and put it all together use a band single leg in your front squat now you can do that the same with a deadlift but that's a lot harder. We'll come to that in a minute. What I want you to do for hip external rotation is this sort of thing. Is what you do is if I say want to improve my right hip in between sets, what I can do is put that up on something that's not going to move. Okay, so I can put that up on say this thing here or pole or bench, and I can just work on pushing that out into that position there. Geez, that's sunny, isn't it? So pushing that out to try and get the rage. This is a nice one to do perhaps before or in between sets is work on that movement there to help. If this is the affected leg and you feel that that's tighter, that'll work on trying to improve that actual movement because it's all well and good trying to get your alignment and strength, but if you're tight in there through the hip, you're not going to get the range. So you have to work on the range just as much as the strength. So that's your hip external rotation stretch. Gets a little bit of glute as well. Now, deadlift, a little bit harder. With the deadlift, what I want you to do, I'm going to do it on the other leg now, is you have to make sure, I'm just going to use a bar here, just a 40 kilo deadlift. Again, this is going to go on my right leg this time but I have to set myself up in the band and it's going to go behind me, so it's a little bit trickier. So, in here, and then I'm going to step that way, okay? So the band now is going between my legs. Now you're going to have to step forward a little bit, so when you're deadlift moving, so you've got to make sure you're clearing so you know where you are once you set up. Okay, so that's the setup. Okay, and then you've got to work on the bar. So make sure it's not too heavy because you've got to be, you know, this is more of a technique and pattern of moving things. So you don't need heavy bar with this. You've got to get your technique right. So 
be careful with the bar because you're going to lift that bar over the band. So it's going to come up, around, and over. Okay, and then you can set up your feet, get your feet in the right position, your knees in the right position. And again, you can see I can move my knee now. So I can feel that resistance there. So I can pull it into the right position. Once I've got it there, then I can go down to my RDL, my Romanian deadlift, just like that. Okay, and again, you won't notice too much difference going on. You'll feel the pull on the leg, okay, but it shouldn't be so much that it's putting you off centre. It needs to be at a point where it's enough to create a little bit of resistance to get the strength and enough to give you some feedback, but not too much that you can't control it. Okay, so get into a straight RDL, okay, and try and work on keeping that knee in the right position. Now again, that's a great one to do. Be careful when you dismount. Again on that, so you don't lose the bar. So there's your three squats, deadlift, and your external rotation to try and improve your knee alignment when you're lifting. Awesome.